How to use emails. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be showing you step by step how to use emails. Emails is an online platform that you can use to create beautiful presentations or if you would like to create e-cards or basically any type of template that will be helpful, you can use emails. As you can see right here, you can use it for presentations, to create websites, e-learning, photo albums or e-cards as you can see here and the beautiful thing about emails is you can get started for completely free for example if i were to tap on their basic plan you can see that they do offer a free plan the only limitation is you will only be able to access three quizzes and you can only create five projects but otherwise from that, if you want to create more projects, you could step up to the pro plan on which you'll be able to create 50 projects and you'll have access to 10 quizzes. And again, all you'll need to do is go onto emails.com. Then from there, you can tap on login or sign up in the top right hand corner. Once you have logged in, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And in this example, I'll be showing you how to create a presentation using emails. So from the top left hand corner, we are going to tap right where we see presentation. Then after you have done that, you will see numerous templates that we can use or we could choose to start from a blank template. So whether you're doing one for business, education, art or design, marketing, sales, training, as you can see right here, there are numerous options you can choose from. So let's say for example, I'm doing one for education. So I selected education right here. Then you can see the templates that I could choose from, or I could select blank as you can see right there. So let's say I want to use this particular template. All you would have to do is tap on the pencil icon that says edit, and it is going to redirect you to this page. Emails remi reminds me better yet of Canva as it, they have a lot of similarities. The only difference is emails layout is different as you can see right here. With Canva you will have the layout or the menu option on the left hand side. But with emails you have the gallery on the left hand side. And then you have the menu options at the top as you can see here. So once you have been redirected to this page. You can see the different images that are involved in your template as you can see here. And you can also import a PDF if you want. So you could add a PDF to your presentation if you want. And to make any changes, all you have to do is tap on the particular section. So let's say for example, you want to change the image right here. All you would have to do is tap on the image. Once you have tapped on the image, if you would like to add a new image or if you would like to remove it, all you'll have to do once you have selected it, you could tap on delete to delete the image as you can see there. If you would like to add another image, you could select media from the top. Once you have selected media from there, you can choose to add media. So for example, I want to add a photo. I'll simply tap on browse right here. After I've tapped on browse, Let's say for example, let me select a random image. So let's say I want to add this image right here. I'll simply tap on it. Once you have added the image, all you'll need to do now is simply double tap on this image that you'd like to replace. So you are going to double tap on the image. Then it will open up media and all you have to do is tap on the image that you would like to replace it with. As you can see right there. So I've replaced the image. Another thing, if you would like to change the text section, all you have to do is tap right where the text is. Then from there, you can type in whatever you want, as you can see right there. So I could type in simple answers just for example sake. Then you can also change the size of the font by tapping right where you see the double T. And from there, you can choose to increase or decrease the font size. You can also change the font style by tapping right where you see style right here. And you can change the font style. There are numerous editing options you can choose from. You can add background color if you want by tapping on the A right there. So if I wanted to add background color, 
let's say I wanted to add a green background color I could do that also going ahead you can change the sections or you can change the shape if you want once you have made the changes to the first page all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap right where you see add then from there you can add a second page if you want or you can also import a PDF if you want as you can see right there so let's say I want to add this second page all I would have to do is tap on it and then you can see right now that I now have two pages and from here you'll be able to edit this page also so once you have edit all of the pages all you'll need to do now you could tap on view in the top right hand corner so you could tap on view then from there you will able, be able to see how your presentation looks at the moment as you can see right here this is how it looks at the moment so you can see it right there this is it it does look good now to save it all you'll need to do is tap on view again then you are going to tap right where you see download finish creating your presentation there is only one pullback when it comes on to emails for example for creating the presentation if you were to tap on download from the top menu option after you have tapped on download you will be redirected to this page let me tap on download real quick let me close out of this you can see right here and if I were to select video you would see that to download it as a video I would have to upgrade so the only option you have when it comes on to emails under your free plan is by tapping on save once you tap on save you'll be prompt to enter a name and once you have named it it will only be available to be viewed on emails or unless you want to share it so for example if I were to tap on share I'll be able to share a link or I can also embed it as you can see right here but there is no way to download it for free hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.